In addition to the significant feature updates, Spotfire 10 provides a new and improved interface designed to create the most intuitive yet sleek user experience. When you open up Spotfire 10, you are provided five options for starting your analysis. Recent and sample analyses, the Connect 2 option which has the long list of out-of-the-box data source connectors. You can also browse to a local file. The other option which supports pasting data from the clipboard, information links, and loading data through an ODBC connection. Finally, we have the option to browse the library for data or analyses. If you are new to Spotfire 10, there is an introduction video as well as a link to the user guide on the right. We'll explore the new interface by opening up a simple flat file. When adding data to the analysis, depending on the data source, you have the options to import, load data on demand, or export. To start creating visualizations, there are three options. Selecting data of interest and letting the recommendation engine help select insightful visualizations, starting from a specific visualization type, or to explore by searching a feature new in Spotfire 10. To the left, we have the authoring bar. Here you access the most frequently used features by clicking the icons on the authoring bar. Below, we have the data canvas. Here you open the data canvas where you get a view of the data structure in the analysis and can also make changes to it. You can, for example, add more rows and columns and specify when and how the data should be loaded and stored. You are also provided automatic data lineage and any transformations that occur, as well as having the option to replace the underlying data source. Back to the analysis, on the top we have the menu bar. In the file menu, features mentioned in the authoring bar are accessible, but you also have access to other important features, such as exporting, sharing your analysis, printing, and viewing the library, and the document properties. To the right of file, we have the edit menu. This also contains options for marking and unmarking data as well as organizing filters. Data includes all the features to interact with your data, ranging from adding calculating columns to bin columns and predicted columns to hierarchies and transformations, as well as access to the data canvas, data connection properties, data table properties, and the information designer. The visualizations tab is another way to add new visualizations, but it also has the canvas styling where you can customize the theme, fonts, and colors of your analysis. Tools include some of the more advanced analytics out-of-the-box features, ranging from data relationships and k-means clustering to regression and classification modeling. If you have access to TIPCO's Enterprise Runtime 4R or Automation Services Job Builder, access is provided from the Tools menu. Under Help, you have TIPCO Spotfire support as well as a link to the TIPCO community in addition to the help topics. Help topics include all the information needed to understand and use every feature built in Spotfire. You can browse the contents or search if you have a specific inquiry. In addition to the menus, buttons for undo and redo are available. To the right of the menu bar, you can use the find as a short way to find content as well as actions you are looking for. This part of the toolbar is also where you are given information, various notifications, and scheduled updates details. You can open the collaboration bookmarks, and filter panels, as well as the visualization properties. If you are authoring analysis to be consumed by users who do not have authoring rights, you can get their view of the analysis by switching from editing to viewing in the drop-down list on the right. When finished, you can save the analysis as a library item for others to view, or as a file that can be opened by other analyst users.